guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 8 of season 2 of My Next Life as Villainous. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> Is that lightning? I mean, no thunder. <laughs> Had an arranged marriage meeting. Oh shit. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. Uh, nickel for nickel? I I'm guessing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, it's pretty obvious. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, so in a way he can't really help him there. I mean, it might be better that way, but really, that's up to you. <laughs> Unfortunately. You know, if only Katarina had a twin. Or, like, several. Because <laughs> then everybody could be happy with their own Katarina. pretty I 
That sounds like kind of, um, yeah, yeah, it does. Well, that could be her. Oh. AKA cold. Because, <laughs> <laughs> of course, you're getting annoyed by it. <laughs> Gardening, of course. <laughs> okay. Of course. Oh, well, come on. You need a break every once in a while. Maybe because she likes you. I mean, not as, like, okay, a relationship, but, like, as a friend. I just think she wants to be your friend. But because you are so cold... <laughs> I mean, hey, yeah, you are right about that. Hell, last week you made me swoon over him being a fucking cat and him saying meow, like... <laughs> No. <laughs> oh. Oh, goodness. <laughs> no, he just. Oh, well, she talks a little too much. Mm. <laughs> yeah, because she likes food. Most girls like food. I know I do. But I do also like to dance as well. Okay, well, there's one. No, oh, Nico. Don't be sorry about that. Trust me, you'll find someone. Mm. 
You just bore you. Because there's no one like Katarina and there will never be anyone else like her. Poor baby. Oh, I think so. If only. Oh. Yeah. Hell, you know, in the end, all y'all could just marry Katarina. Y'all just be in a. Oh, God, imagine that relationship. <laughs> Yeah, but I don't think Katarina feels the same. Yeah. <laughs> so? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, you trust your sister. Mm 
And, and see, that's fine. Well, you shouldn't worry about what your parents say. You do what you want to do, right? Golden? Ah, okay. Damn, they just going everywhere, but it is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Nicole, it's fairly obvious. <laughs> Excuse me. Right. Oh, of course. Katarina is everywhere and nowhere at the same time. Well, there's another one for the harem. They're so cute. Good, honestly. Mm-hmm. yes but you know when you're ready you let them know you don't have to rush
Mm-hmm. Which means you can still do that with Katarina. So yes, you still have a chance, just like everybody else. No. I mean, but she never asked. Honestly, I really enjoyed the fact that this week's episode focused on Nicole because, I mean, he he's still one of my favorite best boys and such. But at the same time, like, mm, for him to, at his age, because of course, and usually in royalty and everything, or even in certain religions, you know, there is a certain time where um, you have to be betrothed to to someone and you have to find out. Sometimes it is either, depending on what the culture is, you get to meet your bride like very, very early on or her um, future husband early on, or you just don't find out until the day you get married and such, which is crazy, but it's still like that even till today with some marriages and some um, cultures and stuff. But really, this is a very interesting episode for him because he finally realizes, oh, hey, yes, I still love Katarina just as much as everybody else, so I'm going to try to steal. But still, at the same time, once again, you know, either one or two things could happen. If there were several Katarinas, <laughs> everybody could be happy in the end. But unfortunately, there is just one. And I mean, mm -hmm. That, that's hard. It's one girl and then you got a whole bunch of guys and girls falling in love with this girl every single week and then you have more people falling in love with her. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's gotta be that one girl in the opening with like the bluish eyes I believe who looks crazy she kind of sounds like Mayu from Idolmaster Cinderella Girls especially with that laugh because like <laughs> but I mean yeah like I really want everybody to you know be happy and find their own Katarina because of course there is just one and unfortunately you can't make several copies of her if there was a way then yes we could have a happy ending where everybody gets their own Katarina and it's like that or, like I said, they could all just marry each other, bam, in one relationship, one big old happy family. I mean, that would be <laughs> brother and sister wives in a nutshell, but oh my god. <laughs> I can't imagine that because, you know, like, okay, as much as everybody loves spending time with each other, everyone loves spending more time with Katarina and such. So, it's gonna be like... <laughs> I hate to compare it to this, but in a way it kind of is either The Bachelor, The Bachelorette, or Bachelor in Paradise, or any type of um, dating show where it is one person and it is several either guys or girls uh, trying to fall in love with that person and fighting for that person and to whoever, to whoever you know, becomes that person's significant other by the end of the series. Almost like, um, I'm trying to think of other shows to compare it to. We, who we going really old school. Um, oh my god. The freaking... A shot at love. A double shot at love. Um, the a shot at love. Jersey, uh, Jersey Shore edition. Anything that deals with romance. And people have to compete with falling in love with someone. And possibly winning a rose. A shot or whatever. It depends on like whatever type of like 
love reality TV show competition show you're watching. Hell, there can be regular old TV show competition, reality TV show competitions where people do fall in love from that show. And, and it's just like, how, how? Especially with one of my personal favorite reality TV shows. I'm like, if we are traveling the world competing to win a thousand, ten thousand dollars or uh, how much, how in the world are we going to have moments to fall in love with each other? Like, um, money first, love money, <laughs> love second. Because <laughs> there was one season where they tried to do that. And, I mean, I don't think it worked out in the end for them because everybody who was, like, the da- uh, the blind date couples, they didn't fall in love with each other. They had really, they have a really good friendship out of the... The the chips like gone for like a month, so like thirty days that they were gone for and stuff. Because there, I was like, there is no way in hell somebody can fall in love with someone in a month, especially traveling around the world. Now I don't know how long like the Bachelor, or the Bachelorette, or even Bachelor in Paradise is their ish, but I think it's maybe a little bit longer than thirty freaking days. So maybe like sixty, seventy. But then you also got to think about any other like that one Netflix show. um love is blind and how can you can do it so freaking quickly but yeah i really honestly by the end of the series everybody's just gonna be married <laughs> that is all but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode eight of season two of my next life as a villainess if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the natural squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next friday for episode nine bye guys